everyone. Hey, uh, I want to make this fast. We're getting a really bad thunderstorm here, but I wanted to give you a little uh, introduction to what I'm doing. I'm, do I'm making happy mail envelopes to send out. You know, Susan left yesterday, so I'm kind of bleh. You know, when you have friends leave, company, your family, and then the next day you're kind of like, gosh, we had so much fun. Why can't we just do that all the time? And unfortunately, you can't. But also, you know, we did share a lot of it on Facebook. We had a blast. And, and guys, we went to Amelia Island. We were in Ormond Beach. And I live in Daytona, so all around Daytona. We went out with friends. I mean, we shopped. And, oh, and I got these really cool glasses. I wanted to bring some color, so I got these cool glasses. And um, then also I got um, these. These are so cool. So I thought... This is at the little shop. I think we put pictures on from Facebook when we were there. We had so much fun there trying on hats and stuff. And I got the scarf there. And um, Susan got something I can't remember. And they, it was, like, so cool. We had to go back again and spend more time. We were just trying to do so much in the week that she was here. I wish we would have had more time. But So that's why I'm, I'm getting my happy mail together because that always makes me happy. Uh, the sender's happy. The receiver's happy. Everybody's happy. So I wanted to show you. I always like to do a picture on my envelopes or if I'm not using jelly. If I use my jelly prints, then I do. I doodle on them anyway. I always like to add some of me into it. And then uh, I'm going to show you what I'm planning on doing to these three. Probably just maybe show you one or two. I don't know if I'm going to show the whole three. But... Um, I'll, I'll uh, definitely, sh I'm going to show one, so we'll just see what I come up with, I don't know, but, um, so I just want to share with you, and I thank you for being here, and if you're inspired, please give me a thumbs up, and subscribe, and I hope, I hope you're inspired, and you have some fun with your happy mail, and, uh, I wish I could send happy mail to everyone, all of you, I mean, I wish I could, but I am going to have a giveaway as soon as I reach that thousand, so hopefully, and then I'll keep doing that. I'll keep doing giveaways as I go along, you know, for every marker, I don't know, every thousand maybe, every 500, I don't know. But I will try and, and just keep doing giveaways to, for you guys, I just to let you know how much I appreciate you being here, and um, you're my friends. So I will get going because the thunder and the lightning is coming, and uh, I will see you in the video. Thank you. Bye. Okay, I'm making a envelope to go for Happy Mail. And I just thought I'd sketch something quick on here. Do I want to paint it white in there to get the the um, even out the color more? Or do I just want to you know since this is going in the mail, I am just going to use my color pencils. I think I don't and it's already got yellow on there, so I think I'll pick it. I think I'll maybe pink her up a little bit. Let's just do some. This is really light. I also could have done her with white pen and just but I really don't want her white white I'd rather have her a little bit of a yellowy and then get some pink in her
Now the person this is going to is a real sweetie, and I wanted her to have something original of mine. on the envelopes. And I like to do that when I'm sending out some happy mail, because I'll either do a girl or, you know, some kind of doodling Then you can spray them before you ship them out, so, you know, the, but, you know, with pencil, color pencil, I really don't think it's going to get ruined. So, and then I can add some little pinky to her cheekies. And um, okay. get a very light color to highlight a little bit. Oops, I guess I better stand up and look for it. Um, hmm. I'm not finding the other one. Oh, this is kind of, this is a pretty light brown, just to kind of shadow. just leave her hair the color of the envelope and just kind of go over it and use the brown to highlight it. take just a little time and do the, you know, a happy mail, when I do happy mail, to just do something fun. That's mine and original, so they have something to remember me. who's getting this. I hope she's watching. She's not going to know what's going to her. So, that'll be fun.
go in with um, you know white and do well, I'm just gonna do this for her eye right now the pupil for a quick little sketch just to go out and I'll fix her eye. I'm going to put some white in on her pupils there and I think she's done. And she's done. I'm going to use white um, gel. And figure out. Oh my. I guess that is not dry yet. So let's wait until it dries a little bit more, and then I'll do the white the eyes. But now, then I now I can either I can start adding. I bought these little flowers. I'm going to stamp them all over with stays on and um, I don't want to put the name but I just want to see where it's going to go there. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to get some black stays on. No, isn't that crazy? Just stamping away. At least I can go over this now with marker if I want to or whatever I want to, but I also want to add some more stamps. So I am going to, I'm going to see, I'm going to color these and then put something kind of dripping over it. I don't know. That That's what I'm thinking of right now. So, but I don't know. It could change. So let me see what markers I want to use. Let's see, I'm going to do yeah, something. Cool. 
And these are the paper, uh, blah, 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 not the paper. <laughs> Faber Castell markers. I need some coffee. That's my problem. I'm going to get some. with this Let's see. probably I have to put some you know black and white because you know me Thinking, okay, the stamps are going to go here, my return here. So this, and then the address here. See, I added some white to here. My camera went out. Uh, I filled up my cord there, so I continued, and I just added white and black, you know, that kind of thing. And then this, I'm gonna kind of define the blue because it kind of looks kind of green. Uh, it was kind of a, I guess, because the background is got that gold from the envelope. It kind of turned it. Like more of a greenish color, that blue Faber Castell color. So oh, I'm just gonna add kind of soaks in there. I'm using my marker. This is actually a paint marker to try to bring out more of the blue. And I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Now I wanted to add more of the green here. those hearts there that I really wanted to make uh, red. So let me see. What do I have? I have pink. I don't have to have a red marker. Let's see what I have. Just fun. Just fun. So those guys are the yellow ones. The other ones are like a hot pink color. Oh, here's another one. Another red one. And um, that's it. So I think I'm done. I think she's adorable. So I'm just going to leave her. 
just want to darken this just a little bit here. Okay, and I'm going to sign it, and, um, you know, I have my new signature now that I've been using, instead of just writing my name, I've come up with a new signature that I like better, and it's more, it's my initials, but it's also incorporates my favorite number, and I just think it's cool, um, so... That is how I do it. So there is my signature, and that is that. And now it'll go out to my very special peeps. Uh, one of my very special peeps. Okay, I have quite a few of you guys, because I wish I could send something to all of you. But the only best I can do is do giveaways, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start doing more giveaways. So just to say thank you to you guys, because I appreciate you so much. And um, she's done. We'll start on the next one. I'm going to do some... I am... Some of these are... I don't want to use anything too thick, so I'm just going to use gesso on this. So with the fit having to go in the mail, much texture and then it you know comes off in the mail. Now this person that I'm sending this to I know she likes butterflies so I was thinking maybe doing some flowers and butterflies so that's So now her name goes here, and then mine up there, and then the stamps. So. Sorry about the shadow there, but I have the light on because it's so bad outside, and I'm not getting any any light in here, and that light, I, I'm right-handed, so I put it that way, but of course I've got my left hand over there, so I apologize for that, and I think that's that for the flowers. Playing with that one to see if I wanted to do that in the, so that's why you didn't see me do it, but I used the, again, the, you know what I was thinking, if I used, I was going to use Dilutions Ink, but I thought if it gets wet, it will run. So I'm better off with the markers. And not to say that I'm probably going to spray it at least with something, but I know those inks are, I love them and the colors of them, but I, I think that they may run. So unless I seal it, seal it, and then I don't know how that's going to go, you know, being in the mail. So I thought I either use markers, uh, or pencils, um, something and these are ink so they are permanent so that's where i am right now trying to figure out my colors oops and um hmm. 
and I will guess I'm, I'm trying to see what I want. I'm, the rest of the colors I'm thinking maybe a purple but I don't know this purple could be yeah that's that, I think that purple's too well maybe it isn't too dark maybe that's the purple I need I don't know I don't know I'm trying to think of the colors that I really want on this and it seems like I'm going kind of dark here so um, so I'll stay like that Let's see how that goes. Maybe I'll just bring this through the whole page and just see how that goes. Um, I shall see. I guess I better let this uh, just so dry. That's a little thicker over there and it's not dry. So I'll let that dry. Yeah, and then I'll come back with the dry a little bit more. That one was pretty dry, but these, I guess maybe I put a little bit more on it. So it'll take a little bit longer. I'll be right back. Stencil some butterflies on this. I would collage some on, but I'm afraid they'll come off, so I'm just going to stamp or stencil. Okay, I sprayed on here. Sorry, I didn't get it on tape. I forgot to turn it on, and I apologize. I think it's on now, hopefully. Yeah. And I used um, Mr. Yui's sprays because they're ink. Spray ink, um, I'm hoping, and I put put some on the paper, and I sprayed water on it, and it doesn't run, so they are more permanent than the dilution, so see, so I just sprayed on some butterflies, and I did the reverse when I turned it over, and took kind of, um, just to figure out what exactly, what part of this I'm actually going to wind up showing, but... Um, we'll see. I'm going to do some stamping over this too and see how that goes. Here 
here I'm just outlining the butterfly and figuring out what parts I'm putting in leaves and flowers and see what parts of the background that I want to keep and what parts that I'm going to uh, fill in with color. Okay, what I did was I had a blank one of these and I just sprayed it downstairs to see if um, my basement just just to see if um, you know the what it would do if it would run with the spray or not and and it seems to be fine so um, I didn't spray this one yet but I sprayed a blank one like I said and, and it looks like it came out um, okay I am going to use my intense um, ink pencils because I think that at least, oops, they'll dry, um, you know, permanent. They're supposed to anyway. And uh, so we'll see what happens. I ever heard it, it, the mail called Happy Mail was uh, Claudia Rossi and Crazy Island Family. So I don't know if she came up with it or not, but it's lots of fun. And uh, if she did, yay, Claudia Rossi. And um, yeah, because I never heard it called that. I mean, you send mail out to friends and people and you do swaps and stuff, but the Happy Mail is just so cool. So um, I want to say thank you, Claudia. Okay, I think I'm done. I signed it. I'm going to spray them. So now this one is done. I just hope the person who is getting it loves it. Um, you know, I enjoyed making it and knowing that it's going to such a lovely lady. I, you know, cannot wait to send it out. And now I have this one done. Um, didn't do any filming on this one, but... This is so. This was so much fun, and this is a that Tyvek material. So I'm hoping that the uh, person who gets that will um, add to it, or you know, maybe use it because it's that cool material. So you can like open this up and use it so many ways. I have, and then this one. So these are going out. I'm going to get them ready and get them out, and I. Hope these lovely ladies um, enjoy this as much as I enjoyed making them. And don't forget to sign your artwork. I may have said it before at the beginning, but even if it's happy mail, because you love it, and if you're making it for somebody, it's coming out of your creative soul, and you want to make sure that you sign it. I mean, I think that tells them how much um, you enjoyed 
working on it. I think if you don't sign your work, then you're like, well, I really don't like it. Or I don't, you know, I didn't get that feeling from it. I think once you sign it, that means I'm done. I'm happy with it. I love it. And now with Happy Mail, mail I want it to be yours. I want you to enjoy it. So I put my, my name on it uh, just to show you how much I cared about making this. So I think that means something when you sign it. I know at the beginning sometimes you don't even think about it, but um, you really should sign it. Take a picture of it. So you have it. Uh, it's yours and you're giving it to someone else. So you created something and then you're giving it out of, um, you know, love or affection or appreciation or just, you know, to wonderful people that you want to say thank you to. So. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I gave you some ideas on what to do. And please, you know, don't uh, feel free to copy. I don't care. Um, I want you guys to uh, enjoy yourselves, and um, it's fun. It's just fun to send happy mail, and it's also fun to create something on the envelope. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. Hey, if I inspired you, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.